Okay, so today is uh, Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018. It's about 2.30 p.m. And I'm here with Bayview Hotel owner Christina Locke in the back of the Bayview Hotel property. This is the new fence that Swenson put in, tearing down her existing chain link fence without any right permission any permission or um, notification. And here's the old fencing material on her lot. The fence was put up along the property line on that side of the property and extends along this property line. So um, the day that they knocked down your fence, Christina, what, what happened? Uh, oh, I, I came here and I, I, I realized my fence was not uh, erected and, uh, and that there was no, that my property was completely exposed and, uh, and I tried to get someone to explain and uh, so it turns out that they were over here trying to, they tore down my chain link fence which happens to be on the floor here uh, and so they took all of my chain link fence out and left, left my property exposed to their, um, you know, to their property. Uh, which means anybody can go in and out. They said, well, no, you know, we have all our chain link things are all closed, so you, you, you're you fine, is what they said to me. I go, no, I'm not fine. This is my property, and, and you, you know, any worker or anybody else can come into my property. I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's right. And see, and then the, the guy said, well, don't, don't worry. We're going to set the post today, and by tomorrow, all the fencing will be done. I said, okay, Was Debbie. that Keith? Yes. Keith Henderson? That's right. And he said that uh, you know that they were gonna they're gonna put the posts. They couldn't do it today, but they're gonna they're, somebody's gonna come tomorrow, is what they said, and put the posts up, and they and I'll have a fence the ne very next day. Well, I still how long ago was that? Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. <clears throat> so, so I still don't have you know part of you see the fence line there. Yeah. I still don't have a fence. It's still open. Uh, and uh, and they finished the other side, but it's not mine. anyone to come and go on their property and now onto yours. So that's opened up a lot of liability for you yeah, if I know. Uh, someone comes in from their, their land. Okay, and also puts their property at risk because your gate is open to yeah. the public. Right. And, um, Anybody can come so through. Really they don't care whether it's your property or their property. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay. And tell me again what he said about taking down the remainder of the fence to your back garden. Well, he said he was going to stop at the end here where the line is, and he's going to, uh, uh, when it comes to the historical fence that we have there, that they were going to um, uh, build on, on their side only. And uh, and they only they said they would not touch my my fence uh, because they were, they were building around it. They're going to build on their side only. Uh -huh. so I said, but I said, well, you know, I, the stake is on the other side of the fence. Right. What are you going to do about that? And they said, well, don't worry, we're not going to touch the fence. I said, and then they and then they uh, yeah, that's what they said. And so we'll see. It remains to be seen what they're going to do. And I said, well, I don't want you to touch the greenery and touch my fence unless you let me know. Yeah. You know, and uh, don't do it like you did this time where you, everything's exposed and I won't know until I come here. So I don't think it's fair and it's not, well, it's not a neighborly kind of way to treat people. So, um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm still remaining, you know, to be seen on these issues with this guy. Steve. Didn't he somehow say that they might decide to take your fence down? Well, what he said is that, you know, if it doesn't work, if the fence that's existing is in the way, which is my fence, that they will, uh, you know, they will take it down. And I, and I said, well, that's why I want you to let me know, because yeah. I want to be able to be prepared in, in case that's what you're going to do. That's what I'm afraid of, I told him. Yeah. So please don't do that. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right.
So well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. yeah, you can see it right there. They sabotaged the fence and they took the metal piss off and the, the wooden ones and everything and they just threw the fence there and the other side too, see? So the fence went all around. Yeah. yeah. So they came on your property without your permission Absolutely. and removed your fence. Yes, they did that. I, you know, the decency to just do what they said they were going to do. They're going to put the posts up one day and the next day with the thing, you know, that's why I allowed it to go is because they said the, next, the very next day it was only going to be a one day temporary time, but yet they still haven't finished it, you know. Yeah. This is three weeks later, so. Yeah. yeah. Did Keith Henderson give you his telephone number where you could call him or anything, no, way to contact no, no. him? No, but he said that he, you know, I, well, I don't even know where he is, but yeah. he's in the, one of the trailers. Though. Shall we go in the back garden and, and take a look from your, your side? Well, we should because if they come and, yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> So this is just showing that the whole back of the Bayview Hotel is now exposed. So the set, yeah, so if people want to come in, they can come through there. Yeah. So the thing about it is that the historical bus that's here, Yeah. you know, with the things. Uh, that's where the property line is, according to them. Well, so that's where um, Bridget found your marker there. They couldn't, uh, Swenson and Ifland said they couldn't right. find that marker, but right. Bridget did. Uh -huh. So that is on the inside of your, your fence. Uh -huh. So if they want to make the fence along the boundary, they, have to they take would down have to take down yeah. your historic fence and but greenery. He, but he told me he wasn't going to do that. You know, and I'm going to hold them up to that because I can't afford to have my whole back area here exposed to, you know, to no privacy. Yeah. So that's why I told them, you need to let me know. The other one is the other fence down there, you know, the metal fence, that's another big yeah. issue. Yeah. Because remember, it goes to the point, of, you know where it goes, right? Any, any um, let's just document that here yeah. on this now, okay? Yeah. So that's one. And if you, we walk further down, Let's, see. Can mark this here or um, let's go along this yeah, way so we mark, yeah. kind of get an idea of the fence. Yeah. And the fence itself is historic wrought iron fence. We've looked at that before. But, uh, yeah, see the side of the, you know, it has a the little historical and uh, Victorian, you know, kind of, this one part here. Yeah, just continues on over there. And the um, corrugated metal is left over from when the firehouse was here, yeah. the historic Aptos yeah. fire station that was torn yeah. down. And so that fire continues on. comes all the way into this property here, which it looks like it's on my property, not theirs, but but it's here. So they're going to, you know, so they're going to, um, if you go straight down, you're going to see that it, it doesn't seem to go with their building. I don't know. We have to look at it. But, but the, you know, the, so the next thing they're going to do is tear down this part of the thing, too. Mm -hmm. And I have all this green stuff there. So I, I asked him, I said, how you? and then the other thing is the height of the fence. I wanted to replace it with the same height. Yeah. So we have privacy here. Yeah, and from those just, second story buildings yeah. over there. And they just, uh, you know, they just, they look at the fence they built back over there. Yeah. Uh, are they going to go higher here? What, you know? But he told me, no, they're going to build the same wood fence. I'm like, really? Well, they also need to respect that this is on the National Historic Registry. Well, and yeah, but are they respecting that? Not so they far. They don't respect much of anything here. <laughs> so I'd just like to get a, a bit of a shot here about this fence line. This is next to building 14. And 
showing that the curb is on the baby hotel property. And again, this is October 3rd, 2018 at the Baby Hotel, documenting property boundary and fence problems. This is the back side of the Baby Hotel and Building 14. Here is the laurel tree that was cut down without any permission by the Baby Hotel owner. Pete Testorf, the property owner, cut the tree down. It was a mature laurel tree. And uh, this is how the property line looks now. There's supposed to be a two and a half foot setback to accommodate landscaping that's required as a buffer for new construction. To the historic baby hotels, historic quality and protection on the National Registry. This is again on the side of the baby hotel and building 14. The pavement has been cut along the property boundary, hopefully abiding by the property survey by Bridget and not different because that was inaccurate. Monument found here by Bridget, claimed to be unfired by the friend is here. And the property line runs here. Like there's a marker here. And this will be very close to the property line. Today is Wednesday, October 10th, 2018. This is the back side of the Bayview Hotel. And I'm just documenting that the fence is still open. At least it's closed on this side. The um, foreman, Keith Henderson, assured Christina Locke, owner of this property, the 
security breaches would be amended. Showing the fence line in relation to the post that is the property line. So that is good. We're building it on their property. This is Monday, October 15, 2018. This is showing that the fence that uh, Keith Henderson promised the View Hotel property owner, Christina Lock, it would be extended from where they left to the point of the willow tree there, that it would be put up to secure her property. That meeting was a week ago today on October 8th and he has not upheld his promise to her. There are breaches in the fence leaving her property open to vandalism and liability. This is the trout gulch. Huh? Yeah, but see they're saying that it's secure their, their property is secure with their fencing. It's not. Look. Look at this. I know it's not secure. And so people can come into your property too. Yeah. So, Christina, did you authorize these signs for yeah. gourmet grazing on the Green Food, Wine, and Beer Festival that was held at Aptos Village Park?